Hello everybody, Trano here, and today we are taking a look at the new Chinese premium tank, the M41A3, which is going to be coming to tier 3 battle rating 5.0 in the Chinese tech tree, and this can be bought for 2980 golden eagles. Now as you can see, this is basically an M4A1. In fact, as far as I can tell in real life, the only major difference is that it had a slightly higher power to weight ratio. Though in testing, I haven't really been able to see much difference between this and the American M41A1. And the other big difference between this and the American M41A1 is that this doesn't have its Sabo or APCR rounds. So you've got your smoke shell, you've got your HE shell, and for your main anti-armor weapon, you've got this APBC shell with 159mm penetration at 500 meters. So... Basically, this has all of the upsides of the original tank, but because it hasn't got access to the original ammunition, it is a lot lower in battle rating. The A1 version being a 6.0 tank and this being a 5.0 tank. And of course, for the other armament, you have got a 12.7mm machine gun on the roof and you've got the 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. And it's got a horizontal targeting speed of 14 degrees a second and a vertical targeting speed of 2.2 degrees a second. And very good for tier 3, it has these 8x zoom optics, which considering how fast this tank is and how low a battle rating it is, having that amount of zoom is going to be quite useful for long range shooting. Other than that, of course it does have very light armour, so it maxes out at about 31mm at the front and then about 25mm for the whole sides and turret sides, and about 25mm for the turret rear, and maxing out at 19mm for the whole rear. And the top speed is 45 miles per hour on four gears, so four gears forward, two gears backwards with a reverse speed of 11.7 miles per hour, and that's on a 442 horsepower engine. And of course you've got a four-man crew, so you've got your driver in the hull, and then a gunner, Commander who can also find a main armament and a loader. And then these are your modifications. One other sort of noticeable difference is that this doesn't have access to night vision. The driver on the M41A1 does have access to night vision, but again, I don't think that's going to be a massive difference, to be honest. I don't think I've ever needed to use night vision while in the driver view, so I don't think that's going to be a huge difference. We're just going to take it out for a very quick test drive, but like I say, this is basically going to run the same as the M41A1. Take a quick pot shot. As you can see, shells are, you know, decent enough, especially for the low tiers. Although you will struggle against the higher tier vehicles like the uh, Panther or the Tiger, unless you're going for flanking shots. Although you can still get some good frontal hits in like we just did there. So it's not a completely useless tank against the higher tier enemies, but obviously if you had the Sabo round, you might be able to do that a little bit more consistently. And we're not doing too great at getting through the hole. Let's take a quick pop shot of this Panzer IV. And one hit, one kill. We're just going to quickly take it for a test drive, but... I think we're going to reach our top speed pretty quickly. I did compare this with the M41A1 and I couldn't see much difference in acceleration or top speed. Well, no difference in top speed. Maybe it gets to its top speed like half a second quicker, but I couldn't really notice much of a difference other than that. Yeah, we're already up to about 37 miles per hour, so we're going to yeah, quickly hit 45. And we seem to be retaining that speed even on rough terrain. And of course this does use two piece ammunition so we are having it reloaded while we're not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, if it had max speed there. And as you can see it has also got this uh, camouflage around the barrel and the rear of the turret. Though I don't think that's going to make a huge amount of difference in game. So anyway, that is the M41A3. And yeah, it's a decent enough tank. It's a very useful tank. It's just obviously without that advanced ammunition, it will suffer a little bit in the higher tiers. But for 5.0, this seems a pretty decent vehicle. And I think people will have good success with it. Is it going to be worth 
just under 3,000 Golden Eagles. Uh, I possibly wouldn't go for that, but mainly because I don't really play the Chinese tech tree that much. I've got up to about tier two on the Chinese tech tree. Maybe if you're trying to get a bit further than that, you know, it'll be a bit more useful for you. And it's definitely a good vehicle to consider if you're looking for a tier three premium. Anyway, just a quick video for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been Toreno. I'll see you next time.